Hi, my name is John, and this is my daughter, Elizabeth. Together, we're proud to take part in the We Read Initiative in partnership with Hess and the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation. Today, we'll be reading Splat the Cat, Ice Cream for Ice Cream. Are you ready to read a book? Yeah. All right, here we go. Splat the Cat, Ice Cream for Ice Cream based on the best-selling books by Rob Scotton, cover art by Rick Farley, text by Laura Driscoll, interior illustrations by Robert Ebers. Splat the cat beamed in the back of the bus. His class was on a field trip to the ice cream factory. I could eat four ice cream cones a day, said Splat. I could eat 15, said Plank. And I could eat all yours and a million more, said Spike. Kitten licked her lips. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. The friends cried. At the ice cream factory, ice cream swirled in big vats. Pipes steamed. Nozzles gleamed. Wow, said Splat. What a dream. The factory manager greeted them. I am Mr. Jellybean, he said. Who wants a tour? Hooray, sang the cats. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Mr. Jellybean led the class to a back room. The cats' faces fell. There was a chalkboard, chairs, desks, but no ice cream to be seen. Mr. Jellybean cleared his throat. <clears throat> First, let's talk freezers, he said. Some are big, some are small, all are extremely cold. Mr. Jellybean talked on and on. He seemed to love his freezer theme, but the cats did not. Their eyes glazed over, their heads drooped. Splat began to daydream that he was making ice cream. He closed his eyes and leaned against a big red button. Beep! Alarms blared, lights beamed, Splat jumped and screamed. Steam puffed out of a big pipe. Then Splat! Ice cream streamed out. It became a huge ice cream wave that grew and grew and flooded the factory. Now that's a lot of ice cream, said Plank, taking a taste. Yum! Well, what happened? Mrs. Wimpy Dimple asked. I don't know, said Splat from under the chocolate chips. The class cleaned themselves up. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple counted heads. Everyone was there except Seymour, Splat screamed. I have to find Seymour, he said. He ran back toward the door. Wait, Kitten cried. We'll come with you. We're a team, after all. Inside, the team checked out the ice creamy mess. Let's look, they said. Be careful, Splat said. Seymour is so small we may not see him under all this ice cream. With brushes and buckets, the cats cleaned and ate their way into the factory. Seymour, Splat called, but Seymour was nowhere to be seen. Then the team cleaned and ate their way through the next room. Seymour, Splat called again. The team continued until the factory gleamed. But it seemed Seymour wasn't anywhere under all that ice cream. Just then, a blob of whipped cream fell onto Splat's head. Splat. Splat looked up. There was Seymour. He was way up on a beam. He couldn't call out. His mouth was full of ice cream. Seymour leaped into Splat's paws. Then Mr. Jellybean thanked the team. The factory is so clean. How can I repay you? Would you like some ice cream? 
The cat's all grown. No more ice cream, they said. For now, Miss Bootsy Wolf. The end. Did you like that book? Yeah. We hope you did too. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye.